Um, I saw I saw a low blocker open. I guess I don't know. Kind of had a thought in mind going into it, and whenever I saw it was was there, I just took the shot. Was that was low blocker your thought going in, or did you adjust? There's a few, and like I, I mean, whenever I was just trying to drag him acro across, see what he opened up, basically. Yeah, gotcha. The uh, <coughs> Artemi obviously scores that that big goal. Just what about him? Obviously, we've asked you a ton about him this year, but being able to come up in a big moment like that again this year. Yeah, I mean, guys need to step up in those moments, and he's a guy that we look to most of the time. So um, he came through again, and I don't think anybody's surprised. Are you someone that, like, did you know, though, obviously you know you're in a race for the division, but it was pretty important because of the tiebreaker to get two points and not just one today. Were you kind of well aware of that going into overtime? I, I think we're all aware of the situation, how tight the race is, and Carolina's running her butts. So, um, I mean, it's not like we're ever not trying to get the two yeah. points, but, yeah, we're, we're definitely aware of the situation. Three times in the last six games you've trailed going into the third period, but you pulled out the victories. What enables the team to do that? Usually teams don't come back like that. Um, I think it's just a resilience in here. We have a lot of confidence in our group that we can come back. So when you have the confidence, um, you play with confidence. And when you play with confidence, you play your best version of yourselves. And uh, I think that's been a big part of why we're coming back in games. So, I mean, I'd like to not be trailing in most games, but it's good to have that ability. Take us through the shootout goal, and then your feeling once it went in. <laughs> yeah, I just tried to drag him across, see what he opened up, and uh, well, block seemed open. And that's all I got. <laughs> uh, Vincent, what, can, what more can you say about you know Igor and just the, the kind of game that he had today and, and what he's done for the whole season? Yeah, he's um, he's a big game player, and when we need him most, he it seems like he's always stepping up and making the big saves to keep us in games, and he did a lot of that tonight. I wonder what the, the feeling was for you guys when you just see the puck go in for a a five on five goal with the tying goal there. Like, you know, it's been a while that you scored a five on five goal, but just to know that you, know, you get at least one out of this game and then you, you know potentially two. What is it a relief almost, or like what's that feeling when you see Panera shot going? I mean, yeah, down two one. I think it's definitely well, it's, a relief, yeah. <laughs> but I don't mean. I think I heard Brad say. I don't think anybody's thinking. Oh, five on five, we need to score. Like if we win four nothing and they're all power play goals or two shorthanded goals, I don't think anybody cares one way or another. We need to score goals to win games, and however they come, that's how they're going to come. And I feel like a lot of times the flow of the game is different, and we get a lot of penalty kills. Um, some games you go up with three power play goals, and you're more shut down the rest of the game, and you don't score five on five. But it's just the flow of the game. I think we're all just trying to win games however we can. PK today, what, what was working? Everything was working. I felt like it was just a really good pressure, um, really good support for each other. I thought we did a really good job of, of bragging pucks back whenever we had possession on their power play, which uh, kills a lot of time, so that was big. Yeah, I thought we had, we had a really strong start. I think uh, we kept pushing. Obviously, they uh, I think they got the lead in the second period, and I thought uh, in the third period we kept working, kept working, and, and we were rewarded. and. And uh, yeah, we're we're pretty good in the shootout too, so that's 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 fun. So what did you see on your goal in particular, coming down the wall and being able to get in? Ah, uh, I seen that I could beat their third guy up the ice, so I thought I could jump, and uh, just took a shot, and it was a good rebound, and it came right back to me. So I was lucky for that, and I just slid it home. What about the way Igor played tonight. Yeah, he he was unbelievable. He's been he's been like that all year for us, and. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a huge game, huge game for the organization, and 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 he came to play, and and we we wouldn't be able to do it without him. So he was um, amazing. Does that game have a playoff feel to it? And, and how does it feel to, to be playing that kind of game? This yeah, year? definitely. Every time we play them, it's always feels a bit more intense. But especially now, where there there's still there's still points to be had and, and position that can happen. So yeah, it was uh, it was really emotional game. It was really intense, and and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was, you like having those going into it. This is the third time in six games you trailed going to the third period but pulled it out. What enables you to come back when usually teams don't? Yeah, I think uh, we we kind of just stick to our game. We make sure we have a good forecheck, and we have a lot of guys that are able to take pucks and, and take them to the net quick. So I think, uh, yeah, just that that continuing to push attitude. Obviously, really great goaltending in the third. And, uh, yeah, just trying to get bodies and pucks to the net.
guess it doesn't hurt to have Panarin out there either. Yes, it does not. He's, uh, he's a pretty special player.